Meadows in the Sky is part of the Mount Revelstoke National Park. To get there, we travelled on part of the Trans-Canada Highway, which runs from St John's in Newfoundland, almost 5,000 miles to Vancouver on the Pacific coast. We drove from Calgary in Alberta, through Banff, then through the Glacier National Park, and finally to Revelstoke. We started our day lower down near the town at Balsam Lake. It's named Balsam Lake from the many balsam plants that flourish nearby. We were promised a day of wildlife. Our first encounter was a Clark's Nutcracker drinking in the pool. We were also told to allow fall down the mountain. From the Balsam Lake, a small road takes you the first thousand feet or so. Then we found Alpine Meadows. Although it was mid-September, it was still full of colourful flowers. As we walked on, we passed even more flowers in their natural habitat. Then we stopped for a picnic lunch. We were surrounded by a wonderful hungry birds. This is a blue jay. This is a grey jay, followed by a wise old owl. After this brief stop, we continued towards the summit. Passing even more alpine pastures, all showing glorious colour. As we neared the top, the views were wonderful. This is known as the ice box, a remnant of an old glacier. It's watched over by a steel statue of an Indian chief. Time to stop and admire the distant mountain views. Then onward for even more natural beauty. All along the forest you see this lichen like a moss growing up in the trees, high up. It's handy feed for the caribou in winter, because when the snow is deep they can reach up five or six feet above the ground and eat it off the trees. Without this they wouldn't survive, because the snow covers the ground for four or five months. Eagle! I heard somebody shout eagle. I think it's a bald eagle. Mount Revelstock is home to many animals, large and small. 
This is a golden mantled ground squirrel. Then a stone martin, which is a cousin of the pine martin. And a chipmunk, munching away on grass seed. Other animals include elk and mountain goats. I had been told that on another part of the mountain, in the wooded area, we might be lucky enough to find some grizzly bears. So we took the ski lift to try our luck. something stirring over there. Yes, it's a grizzly. This time of year they only have one thing on their mind, getting fat for winter. As most of the berries have now finished, they're looking for roots and small mammals like mice and voles. He didn't seem to notice me at all. I kept my distance and had been told by a ranger if I see one to keep still and keep facing him. The ranger told me he was about three years old and he could eventually weigh up to 800 pounds at this time of year before going into a state of semi-hibernation. The large hump on his neck is how you tell a grizzly from a brown bear. They have a lifespan of up to 25 years and when they stand upright it is not a sign of aggression. It is to increase their sense of smell. In fact, it is said they have a smell ten times that of a dog. The name grizzly comes from the brown fur which has grizzly grey tips. Well, just as quickly as he'd appeared, he was gone. That was an unforgettable experience. <laughs> <laughs>